Clutter's Last Stand is a book by Don Aslett from 1984. Despite being written over 30 years ago, just about all of his reasoning for decluttering still applies today. The main difference is back in the 80s, digital stuff wasn't so prevalent. I love what he wrote about hanging on to spares and second bests. We obtain a best because we were unhappy with the old one. It was worn, ugly, getting ugly, not working right anymore, or we were simply tired of it. So why keep things we're not happy with? It's just like an old piece of chewing gum. It's still chewable, but it has no flavor. I've got some old chewing gum to get rid of today. This hair barrette was a gift from a dear friend. My hair is really thick, so it can be hard to find a barrette that's big and strong enough. This one worked great for years, but the metal band thingy inside broke off. It'll still hold my hair back, but not as tight, so it eventually slides down and I have to keep redoing it. I found a new barrette, which makes this one old chewing gum. Bye-bye. I don't even know why I still have this hanger. It's got only one clip and the hook part is so small, I can't even get it around the closet bar without applying brute force. I certainly have no shortage of hangers, so this old chewing gum can definitely go. These earbuds work, but the cable portions have gone gummy. I don't even like touching them. I've got these other earbuds that are not only gummy free, they also block out exterior noise way better. So gummy earbuds, old chewing gum. The blades on this shower squeegee slide out of the handle. I can't tell you how many times I cursed it while naked and trying to squeegee down the shower. I had to keep reassembling it. Plus it's just gotten gross over the years. I'm embarrassed I kept it as long as I have. Hoarder that I am, when I bought the squeegee, I got an extra one as a backup because I liked it so much. And then I forgot I had the backup. But I found this one while decluttering, so old chewing gum out, new chewing gum in. I like to bake, so I need a spatula. But this part separates from the handle, which just bothers me. Later, I got this jar scraper, which I love and highly recommend. It's one solid piece, and even though it's smaller, I use this now instead of the spatula. So this one's been demoted to old chewing gum. These tongs were made in Japan. I love almost anything made in Japan or Germany. These are well made, but I never use them. Plus they're made of plastic, so I wouldn't use them on anything hot. I have these metal tongs, which I do use and can be used with hot food. So while the Japanese tongs are nice, they're like old chewing gum that I never even chewed. I'll do the KonMari thank you thing. Thank you for making me believe I would host incredible parties and use you for serving delicious, beautiful salads. But I never did, so I hope you'll find a new owner who will use and appreciate you. I hope you'll look for the old chewing gum among your possessions and be able to let go. We deserve chewing gum that's full of flavor. We deserve a life that's full of flavor.